Welcome back guys, Tyler here in the Mets office. We're gonna to continue to look at past exam questions today. We're going back to 2018. So this was the first year of the current study design, so it is current still. Uh, and we're looking at question four uh, at the top here. So it was a six mark question. We've got a sort of good range, sort of spread between two to five marks. So five marks not too bad. Not too many got six, only 8% of the state got six out of six. Um, all right, so when you get to this question, you've got two uh, bits of, of data to lead into it. So we've got this graph here uh, in the in the exam it does have time across the bottom. I think it's 10 second intervals. I haven't drawn that up there. So it's basically just our energy system interplay graph that we're used to in that maximal setting. Our ATP PC system, our anaerobic glycolysis, and then our aerobic energy system. So we should all be fairly familiar with that graph. We also just get this table that gives us an example, some examples of track and field events. It says for track we've got 100 meter, 400 meter, 5000 meter, and then for field events we've got shot port, long jump, pole vault. Right. So this is sort of our, our leading information. The question then asks us, and it does say using the graph and the table. So when we, any, any, anytime we say using the graph and the table, obviously make sure we want to use those. Compare the characteristics of the ATP, PC, and the aerobic energy system. All right, so again, if when you get there, make sure right, ATP, PC, aerobic. There's no mention of the anaerobic glycolysis system, so we're not going to worry about that. Um, and it says discuss the fuel sources the rate of energy production and the recovery, right? It's basically what it's saying. It's quite a vague question. Um, really important to notice, nowhere does it ask you to talk about interplay, right? So there was one of the, the common mistakes last year were general interplay responses at all stages, all three energy systems in the first blah, 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 blah. A lot of people, I think, just generically explained this graph, right? The question doesn't ask for interplay at all. It just says compare the characteristics of each energy system. We get some really good hints. We need to talk about fuel sources, rate of energy production, we need to talk about recovery, and we want to use this table. All right? General interplay, no good. So here's what we might say. It's a six mark question, characteristic of interplay. You get basically a whole page for this, right? We don't want to take too much time on questions like this, but but give all your knowledge, right? Don't as long as we're talking within the scope. Give, tell them what you know. So an example of what we might need to say. Characteristics. The ATP PC system is an anaerobic energy system utilizing phosphocreatine or creatine phosphate, however you like it, as a fuel. Right? Characteristic. Anaerobic uses PC as a fuel source. As opposed to the aerobic energy system, which requires oxygen and uses fats and carbohydrates as a fuel source. All right, there's a good start. And we've, uh, we've discussed fuel sources. Tick, that's good. We've, we've ticked that box. We haven't spoken about any events yet. We haven't touched on that, but that's fine. We don't need to do it all the way. Uh, now we do it. The ATP PC has an explosive rate of energy production suited to short explosive events such as, now we can come over here, 100 meter sprint, shot put, long jump, pole vault, any one of those four, just pick one. That's an explosive event for the ATP PC. We've done the rate of energy production. We've now linked it to the table. I suppose the aerobic energy system, which rate is much slower. You might say it has a slow rate. You might say it has a moderate rate. Make sure you say the rate. Um, as shown in the graph, it is the dominant supplier of ATP after approximately 60 seconds it is on the graph. All right? So we can see on this graph that after approximately, you know, check this on the actual exam, but it would say 50 or 60 seconds, it is the dominant provider of energy. Therefore, we utilize the graph. So it has a slower rate of energy production. It is dominant after that first 60 seconds. Therefore, it would be more suited to, when we come to our table, what do we got here? A 5,000 meter event, right? 400 is only gonna take a minute. The rest is short and explosive. Link it to here. It's gonna be suited to these sorts of events. We, uh, what do we know? We done fuel, we did rate of energy production. Good, we haven't done anything about recovery. So we're gonna to wanna to make sure we now have something about that. ATP PC system will benefit from a passive recovery as this is the quickest way to replenish PC stores. Link that to an event. You might say um, a, a long jump athlete will benefit from a passive recovery due to the ATP PC system being dominant and this is the quickest way. In here, you might write, we'll get 70% replenishment in 30 seconds, 98% in three minutes and up to uh, five to 10 minutes for 100%, right? Give that knowledge. We're talking about recovery and characteristics of the ATP PC system. So if you've got that, give it. And then we have to talk about the other one, obviously, as opposed to the aerobic energy system, which is gonna more benefit from an active recovery, remove any metabolic byproducts and return the body to a pre-exercise state. Again, you might say that's gonna be more suited for the 5,000 meter athlete will do that sort of recovery. 
tick, right? We've linked, we've said recovery, we've done our energy, rate of energy production, we've done our fuel sources. We're comparing the characteristics of the two systems, we've used the table and we've used, uh, sorry, we've used the table and we've used the graph to do that. Right? We don't need to do interplay, we, we just want to address all those points. Six marks, we've got a lot of space. Give uh, all the information you know within that scope of that question. You want, uh, as always, if you want us to go over any specific questions, you've got any questions about that, let us know, otherwise we'll see you next time.